Okay, I was a professor here in Bonn from 2003 to 2017. Uh, and before this, uh, I was a professor in Köln for seven years. And uh, before that, another seven years at Wuppertal. And before this, I was a professor here in Bonn as an associate professor for three years. And before this, I was a professor in Heidelberg for four years. And uh, I started out in mathematics in East Berlin uh, and then continued in Paris and Princeton and Harvard. Okay, so my uh, field is algebraic geometry, uh, more specifically uh, arithmetic algebraic geometry, but I'm actually also interested in classical algebraic geometry. And uh, to be honest, this uh, has never changed over my whole career. I was always interested in the same things. Uh, uh, but of course, there have been various aspects that are more in the foreground and more in the background. But all in all, I think I've been fairly consistent in my interest. Uh, maybe that uh, one thing that uh, fascinated me from the very start is the idea of a modular space. So a space that parameterizes uh, certain objects in algebraic geometry and uh, which is a subject of interest in itself. Oh, I met him probably a long time ago, uh, maybe in Oberwolfach, but I forget the year. Uh, uh, I mean, it is true that, first of all, uh, he was interested in various things that I was also interested in. So, for instance, uh, the compactification of the modular space of the BAM varieties. Uh, uh, but I wouldn't say that I influenced him in this. It was an open problem and I tried this and there was one thing that I was missing. Uh, and Feitings just announced at some Arbeitstagen, he announced that he had done this. And I looked at this paper and the main point that I was stuck on was missing. And uh, I could even imagine that maybe he had overlooked this, but when he wrote up the, the solution, he found this ingenious trick, which I had missed, uh, which is maybe uh, a witness to the fact that he is a mathematician of extraordinary strength. Uh, there's one other thing where I, I really directly influenced him, and this was the question of the a normality of Schubert varieties in affine flag varieties. Uh, so Papas and I had proved this in the case of SLN and uh, this, uh, we, we did this in the context of local models of Shimura varieties and I had this brilliant student Ulrich Gertz who solved this problem for the case of SLN but uh, for the case of the symplectic group, he needed such a result. And so I used to go into Feitings' office every week to ask him this question. He would always say, this is totally trivial. But I always said, no, this is not trivial. And then in the end, after maybe several months, he actually caught on and he wrote this paper, which in my opinion is a very important paper. So in this sense, there's one instance in which I really influenced him. Yeah, I thought since you gave me this question before and I did think about this and uh, indeed there is an anecdote which I think is somewhat characteristic of Feldings. Namely, uh, he uh, grew up in Münster which at the time was clearly considered to be inferior to Bonn. And people in Bonn thought that everybody else outside of Bonn is uh, mediocre and is working on 
some obscure things. And at one point, uh, Feitings came to Bonn and he gave a talk. This was still the time when he was uh, doing um, a commutative algebra and he gave a talk uh, about Gorenstein rings. And uh, so in Bonn, people were making fun of this obscure subject, uh, which uh, turned out to be totally wrong because in the solution of uh, Taylor and Wilds of the Fermat problem, this suddenly turned out to be of extreme importance. Uh, but Feitings, he has not forgotten this slide. And so uh, when I, whenever I had a doctoral student finishing for the exam, then in Bonn there is this tradition that you uh, go to a special office and you can ask any kind of question in mathematics. And uh, Feitings always asked, what, what is a Goldenstein ring? I think he considers this his ultimate triumph, that this is still a very important subject. I don't think so. I mean, uh, first of all, I don't think that older people should give advice uh, to a general young person. Uh, secondly, with my PhD students, uh, I had quite a number of them who were quite successful. I gave them a lot of advice, uh, which actually made them smile. And I think that they never really respected this advice, but the, the point of this advice was that at least they should think about this. In general, they did something else, and I think they did something uh, very good. Uh, uh, but they have to make their own decisions. And uh, for people that I don't even know, I don't want to give advice. I have to admit that I used to have more interests, but uh, with age you slow down and uh, you have to make a conscious decision of what uh, things are really important in your life. And so in my life, mathematics is very important. And so, for instance, I stopped uh, playing the violin or I don't learn any new languages anymore. Although from time to time I try to f fresh up my Russian. Um, uh, but in general, I have very few hobbies. I mean, uh, I think that uh, I enjoy my garden, but I don't work in it. I let my wife work in the garden.